fun. Kevin, always great to uh, <laughs> talk to you. How are you? I'm great. How about you? We are doing great. And uh, I loved your column the other day because you know, we interview a lot of people in, in the space, so to speak, and they're just bowing down and praising uh, Charlie Baker as if he's just solved the two <laughs> wars going on in the world right now. And right. you you put it into a per, into perspective, and I want you to share with the audience uh, whether whether you agree or disagree with Baker. That's not really the point. What has changed? Well, you know what, or what was missed is the fact that you know we we had all this debate about whether or not FSU should be in, whether or not Alabama with one loss should have leapfrogged them into the Final Four. And people were talking about what a travesty this was for S FSU. You got the the governor, and now uh, uh, and now Rick Scott down in um, <laughs> down in Florida, uh, trying to use public funds to bring a lawsuit against the NCAA. If they were really concerned about college football, they would be they would be joining the lawsuits against the NCAA against college football that are trying to even the playing field for everyone involved in it. Most most importantly, the laborers themselves, the players who for whom are still not. Um, equitably remunerated for their blood and sweat on the field. And it's time for the players to not only get paid because we know the money is there. We can just look at the, the buyouts and the coaches contracts. We can look at the broadcast um, uh, revenue that is, that is going up exponentially. It's time for those players to get paid, to get um, workers comp because they are employees and to get long-term health care insurance because we know that you just don't get CTE if you make it to the NFL. You can get it in college. You can get it in high school. And according to the New York Times, now we know you can get it, um, you can get it in, uh, in high school. Um, so that, that's the biggest uh, travesty here. And I think, you know, I think that the needle is, is, is really moving quickly towards the players. Before you and I started talking here, we just saw the latest decision on the player's side about being able to transfer a second time. So uh, yeah. they have agency, and, and they need to be rewarded. And, and really, uh, Kevin, what scares college ath athletic administrators, as you pointed out at the end of your column, it, it's not paying players. It's the courts telling them what to do. And uh, right. we, we are getting closer to that moment. But it, ju it, just, it just seems uh, that some people, though, don't like to hear what you said because they, they feel like the players are already being paid, even though – the best players are making money, but after right. that, there, there, there are a lot who get nothing. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, I think we've kind of confused NIL because people seem to think that that's getting paid. And no, that's, that's not getting paid. That's your ability now to cash in on your celebrity and fame as a college athlete if you can find someone who wants to give you some money for that um, or give you something in return for that. Um, but getting paid means that the 17, what is it, the, what is the, the Big 12, uh, the Big 10 got a, I forget, what, $7 billion yeah, Big deal 10. that they just signed um, uh, before uh, Kevin Warren left the office. It's about being able to share in those revenues. Um, Kevin Warren, uh, before he left, shouldn't have been the only one who realized the profits from that contract. It should have been um, all the players in the Big Ten as well that, that bring that money in. So that's what that 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 is what is getting paid. I I was uh, I was at the um, the uh, Tennessee at Alabama game um, uh, several weeks ago um, just as a fan. I just went as a fan, and to look at the hundred you know and to look at it as a as a fan as opposed to sitting in the press box, you get a different feel. And you just look at the production that is put in there um, and all the money that is generated. And I looked around, I'm thinking, I go to the beer vendor, the beer vendor's getting paid. I'm looking at the referees, they're getting paid. All the coaches are getting paid. I look up in the press box, everybody up there is getting paid. The, the place where I parked our car, that guy got paid. Everybody was getting a piece of that pie except for the players that were on the field. Now, certainly – some of the stars were getting NIL money, um, uh, but I just mean just for putting in the work every day of the week um, into that craft, and that's that's what needs to change, and it's going to change. We we are we are 
close to the uh, to the edge now. Yeah, Kevin, we were down there that weekend. That, that's just a that's just a. By the way, uh, what you saw in Alabama, it was the second time we were there this year. That, that's just a run of the mill Saturday uh, in Tuscaloosa. <laughs> Right. <laughs> they had a bigger game. They had a bigger game in two weeks and a bigger game before that. I mean, that was the third, maybe the fourth biggest. I, actually, that was the fourth most important home game of the year for Alabama. They had LSU, Texas, Ole Miss, right. and Tennessee. So what you saw, right. which looked like the end of the world, was a home game. <laughs> amazing. Just, just amazing. Yeah, so we got to rectify this. What was it like being a fan again? Um, you know, I go to I go to games. Um, uh, I go to various games all the time. Um, I'll go to a college game. You know, I'm, I'm here in Washington D.C. in Maryland, so I'll go to a Maryland game. Um, I uh, I'll go to a I'll go to conference tournament games. Right. Um, I'll go to an NCAA tournament game if if my my alma mater Northwestern's in it. Um, I, I go to games all the time as a fan. I, I enjoy it. Um, you know, one of the things the students always ask me. Um, they say, you know, how how hard is it or yeah, how difficult is it not to be a fan anymore because you're working in media covering it? And I say it's not hard at all. I can make that. I can I can divide that, you know, and I don't call people and ask them for free tickets. You know, I buy tickets myself. So and I go sit in the stands and it's. Um, well, that's a, well, that, know, hold that's on. That's a big ESPN money you're making from around the horn. 